Welcome to my channel. I'm Deluxe. All right. Well, I got a new transformer today, and I know a lot of people, other people have gotten it also, so let's do this. I got Masterpiece, Transformers Masterpiece, Beast Wars MP43 Megatron. Well, that just didn't make any sense at all. Hmm. Well, <sighs> all right. Easy go. Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Thank y'all for coming back as always. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a wonderful day or night. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Deluxe. All right. Well, just like a lot of other people have today, because I know you saw it all over Facebook, I got in a new Transformer day. Yay! This is a Transformers Masterpiece Beast Wars Megatron. This is MP43. All righty. This big old mamma jamma. There is uh, Barney himself. Pretty cool. Same right there. Got the effect right there. All right. You can get the back. If you want to pause for the calls and read all that stuff, if you can read that English. Nope. It's Chinese. So, yeah. Good luck with that. Wonderful, wonderful stuff on the box. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All righty. Open this puppy up. See what we're dealing with. Big shout out to Stasis Lock, OG the OG Beast Wars Tyler. He did a live uh, unboxing and everything. Really good. All righty. Mm, mm, mm. So fresh, so fresh and so clean, clean. Open this puppy up. All righty. So comes with instructions. They all do. It does come with a little nice little collector's card. Pretty cool. In the back, you got some stats. That is neato. And you got long instructions. And all right. There he is, the mighty, mighty Megatron. All right, I'll be right back and get him out of his little shell, and then I'll go from there. All right, <clears throat> got him out of his shell, and here he is. Looking all spiffy. Long and strong. About to get his friction on. All right, going to go over the accessories. He can't stand. There you go. All right. <clears throat> he comes with three adapters. Okay, this one is for uh, dyno mode. It slides, I'll just show you real quick. Slides right in here. This little spot right here just slides in here. Unfortunately, I don't have, uh, it works on Dinobots, a uh, little stand. I don't have it out right now, but there he is like that. And you can, you know, get him in some good poses. Um, then I think this one is for when he's, uh, you know, in bot mode. And this one is, there's an instruction that has primal where he's holding him up like this. So, you know, you really can't hold him up because he's heavier than him. But you got this little adapter, you can uh, put it on, up like that. And um, he can hold him up like that. So that's pretty cool. So you got three adapters for that. You got his, uh, on that one episode, I guess when he goes hunting or something, you get his little gun right there. Nicely painted silver. Very nice. And you got the scales also that go along with the and dyno mode and everything, all that stuff. And got a little stock right there. And you got the little uh, sight. So that's pretty cool. He also has the uh, blast effect. It's pretty neat. It sticks in his hand whenever, just like that. He's got his little toothbrush. Nice fit and finish. Got a nice little blue, like that. Kind of sparkly. And he got the white that's painted also. So he can brush his teeth. And he's got two other heads. He's got the yes whatever i can't do that well but anyways very nicely painted love that red very nice and the purple very and the white teeth and everything he's got the predacon symbol up there in green so that is neato and he's got one with a girl face so that is really really nice nicely painted i think they just slide on uh, and I'll show you whenever I get him in bot mode. All right, I'm back, and here he is once again. Ferocious. Grr. 
Yeah. Pretty cool. Beautiful paint. That purple, and then you got the light purple. Very nice, you got the scale, just like the Dinobot. Very nicely detailed. You got that green, all of it goes all the way down. Very nice. And then you got the uh, kind of a peach. I guess that would be peach, kind of a brown. Goes all the way under his belly and under the tail. So that's really nice. Very light, nicely detailed. Love the eyes. You got the red and you got the yellow and black. And it can move, these little eyes can move. They're like on ball joints, so you can move them around. Both of them do that. That's pretty cool. A little creepy, but you know, it's a nice little option. He does have, if you open his mouth, which he can open his mouth really wide, the teeth, the teeth are kind of sharp, so be careful. There's a little screw right there, and you can put two batteries. Unfortunately, I can't find my batteries right now, but if you uh, close that and you press this, it, it has the uh, noise effect, you know, everything. So this is, an, it'll be in Japanese. Uh, it'd be pretty cool if, uh, I guess the American version will have David K. Same, that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, nice little option. So once again, he does have a nicely open mouth, and he does have the tongue, and it sticks up right there. That's pretty cool. So it goes up and down. So very nice, and go all the way, and go down, and go up. Very nice, side to side, and he has a, a rotation right there. So that's really good. Very nice. Very nicely detailed. I love the scales on that. The teeth are kind of uh, they're kind of white, but they're kind of silverish too. Got a little tint to them, so very nice. Moving on down, uh, this is really panelly, so if you manipulate it very much, a lot, you know, really hard, uh, the stuff will pop out. It's not too bad. You can pop it right back in place. Like I said, you can break the sculpt a little bit right there, and you can get some nice ratchets. Dynamic poses right there. It'll get you that outward moment, movement too. So if you want that a little bit, you know, if you want to get them some dynamic poses, that's really good. And you just pop that back, back in and everything. Move on down to the leg. It's got nice ratchet right there. And you got a little, little pop movement right there. That's pretty cool. And then you got the, if I can get the feet. Got two clicks right there. Nice uh, ratchets like that. And he does have a rocker. That's pretty cool. Each finger, each little toes, not fingers, but toes, will move individually too. So that's really cool. And the back right there is die cast under there. So it's very nice. So it gives you a nice, uh, you know, he can stand pretty good. Oh, I forgot the little baby arms. You can go all the way around. You can go out that way. And he's got a twist at the elbow, a little bit above the elbow, but no bend. So that is him. Oh, sorry. You got this too. You got a little bit up and down. Kind of breaks the sculpt like i said starts to stuff starts popping out of place and i don't like that but and this moves right there too also so you got a little movement on the tails too so not bad not bad at all i like this i just don't like the, the really panelly area back but that's just nitpicking you know it, it won't you know some people don't mind that all right well that here he is in alt mode beast wars megatron all right here he is next to his uh beast wars you know, from the 96 stuff, whatever, 95, whatever. So, pretty cool. Next to Crapagonics. Next to a water bottle. And toilet paper. All right, here he is. Back from transformation. Looking all good. for that backpack. Yeesh. All right. Wonder if he'll sculpt. You look down a little bit. You can look up side to side. And you get the er kind of look. So that's pretty good. Very nice. Wonderful paint throughout. You know, it's got the silver. It's got the nice uh, finish with the black and the silver. Looks like, you know, really bright colors look like a disco ball and like the teeth and everything you got there the silver down here nice paint up here for the shoulders and the green right there and everything so so you can go all the way up to here like that holds it pretty good then it gets up to here and it, it's it's kind of strong i wish they would have put a ratchet here you know they got a ratchet for everything else like you know soft ratchet right there 
and then um you know like that so they got ratchets there but i wish they would have done it right here i know it is you know a little bit it's like a right here you know but it'll hold it pretty good uh just certain angles like the, you know when it gets down to here it'll start going to you know a little bit but you know not bad uh it's got a, a biceps uh bicep swivel very nice and it's got the nice uh black uh, sheen right there to it right there and it's got the purple in the back i'll show you the purple right there very nice so the hand is just the same you know as you know as you know strong hand you know it's got the um uh dino head on it so it can go twist you know like that everything just basically what it can do uh it can get about 90 degrees on the elbow bend and that's pretty good so it's not bad and here over here I'll show you later on. You know, you got the hand basically like that. This one goes, this closes, open and closes right there. You know, basically you can get up to the same like that and everything. It's got the bicep swivel and everything. Uh, I'll show you the skinny mini part. You know, when he takes off, he takes off all his uh, shell. You know, his armor, whatever. Oh yeah, there's articulation on the hand too. So he got a, you know, you can bend like that. It's got a swivel, nice bend. You got two points of articulation for the thumb it'll bend like that and you got the pointy finger too the last two fingers are on they're uh, together so with the same articulation for that and everything so that's pretty cool and that's pretty cool so basically the same thing over there but this has a little hand right there like so. oh, moving on down he's got a nice a lot of people are having issues with their uh you know the rotation their waist swivel mine's pretty good it's not it's not loose I can't spin it like a helicopter, you know, or anything like that. So it's pretty tight, you know, everything. It does have an ab crunch. It's got like a, like a four, you know, nice ratchet, uh, you know, ab crunch. So that's really good. Like I said, it's got some purple and some black and everything back there. It's nice finish to it. Really, really nice. A lot of people, a uh, couple, maybe one or two people are having issues with breakage right there. It is swirly plastic, but I don't see any issues with mine. I don't see any cracks or anything, so mine's good to go. As long as you just, you know, don't mishandle it, it should be all right. Okay, so you move the arms out of the way. You can't do the full Van Dam because of these right here, but if you take them off, he can do the full Van Dam. You can go all the way up, nice ratchet, all the way back. That's really good. Let's have a thigh swivel, really nice, built in, really good. And you got a knee swivel also. And you got these little things back there, really nice. Nice 90 degrees for the knee band, and nice ratchets like that. Uh, it's got the nice green and black and purple. Really nice, very nice finish to that in there, inside his thighs or outside of his thighs. That's really good. It's got the paint, all that stuff and everything. Move on down, he's got this little thing right there if you want to, like a kickstand or something like that. He does got two clicks, nice uh, ratchets for the feet to go up, nothing really back, and he does have a nice rocker, just like a dyno mode. And in the back, it's got the uh, die cast right there, so it keeps them stable. And then you got this backpack rack here. You can move these. You can take them off too if you want to. They slide off, they're part of the, his armor or whatever. So you can slide them off if you want to and not even have them on there. So that's a nice option. Let me see if I can get it back on there. Jesus. So yeah. But they can move side to side and they can, you know, go like this and everything. So you can I know it's a lot, there's a lot of stuff out there. You know, it, it, he does have that on the toy, so you know, I, I expect that. You know, where else is it gonna go? Ideally, you know, you would not like to have all that stuff folded in the back, but it's not too bad. But you have the option of taking it off, so that's not bad. So yeah, that is him and his uh, toes move just like the dino so they're separate and everything so that's pretty good and they're painted so yeah there he is he's very he has a nice presence to him so like i love purple on a transformer and he's all the purple nurple i need all right there he is all right there he is in his naked mode he's holding the toothbrush brushing the teeth so you take the back piece off you take the arm off and you take the little side pieces off too Also, in this mode, he can hold his gun, too. It's all right. Holds in pretty good.
All right, and there is the blast effect in there, and he's got another head sculpt on. That's pretty cool. There he is with the original Base Wars Megatron. There he is with the G1 Masterpiece Megatron. And there he is with another third party MP or stuff uh, scale. And a masterpiece car. And there he is next to Perfect Effects Gorilla and the Generation Toys uh, Primal. Got his name offhand. And there's the money shot. There's the masterpiece Beast Wars I have. I don't have the black repaint of uh, Cheetor. Man, he's so much bigger than Primal. Crapagonics. A bottle of water. Toilet paper. And squeaks. No. All right, final thoughts on this guy. Negatives, the only thing I got really for alt mode is the uh, panelly. You know, it's all, he's real panelly. If you start maneuvering him or, you know, manipulating and everything, it does tend to fall apart, you know, everything. But you can pop him right back in. It's not that big of a deal. The dyno mode is really good. I like it. It's awesome. Uh, transformation is, is really easy, especially for a masterpiece. Uh, it's not really, at, you know, no... You know, I don't see it as hard, you know, at all and everything. Be careful when you, you know, folding all this stuff and everything. I you know I took my time. You know, if you don't really rush it, you know, and try to force it too much, uh, you probably won't break it, you know, but I, I never felt like I was going to break it anyways. Just be careful. It is thinner plastic than what everything else is. And um, so, yeah, a negative. Only thing negative I really say about this uh, is some of the tolerances, you know, are, are kind of, you know, iffy. You know, some, some of them really tight. But if you work them, you know, if you transform them back and forth a couple times or if you work it a little bit, it'll be fine. Um, the only bad thing I really can say is I wish he had a ratchet right here. That would have been cool. Uh, but he can still hold it but it would have been stronger if it had a ratchet. I'm just worried, you know, over time, you know, if you play with it a lot, you know, it's going to get worse. So that's the only really down thing I got. Positive, you know, like I said, the dynamo is really awesome. Transformation is really fun. You know, it's not hard at all. The sculpt is beautiful. It has a presence. I love it. The face sculpt. All the accessories are really nice. I really, you know, add something to it. Even the gun, you know, I mean, I'm not going to use that stuff, you know, but it's still a nice little add-on. You know, I wish they would have put the rubber ducky, but like uh, Tyler said from uh, uh, Stasis Lock, he, that was season two. So, you know, I can, they're making one. You can add one. It'll be all right. Uh, the paint, beautiful. Probably one of the better, best paint jobs I've seen on a Transformer. And, you know, and it's, it's just beautiful. The purple, the green, the black, the silver. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Articulation is really good, too. I mean, like I said, you can take these things off and you can make it more articulated, but I, I don't think he, he really needs to take them off. He's really, he's really articulated. I like it. It's really good. Some of the stuff like this gets in his way a little bit, but you can maneuver it around and he can get some good good poses and everything. So overall, really good. Thumbs up, definitely. I definitely suggest this. If you're definitely a Beast Wars fan, definitely get this guy. Uh, the price range, you know, it is really high, uh, but that's what that's the way they're going, you know, and the you know, Dinobot was, you know, very expensive too, and he was worth it, and I think this guy's worth it. I got him for 230 so, you know, I think that's a better price than 300 but, you know, it, it's just up to you. That's really up to you if you want to spend that much money on a Masterpiece Beast Wars figure. All right. Well, I'm done rambling. Uh, I'm going to get on the floor. I'm going to do some floor time. Why don't you join me and be my neighbor? All right, all right, all right. Daddy? Oh no! What are you? 
I'm your son. Oh, Debbie, that lying woman, she, she told me she had an abortion. No, I'm your son. We've been living without you. Where have you been? Oh, I, I didn't have time to take care of you. Oh my gosh, I, I had to crush planets or something. I had to crush cities. Not planets, I'm not big enough for a planet. But I had to crush cities and start and knock off star screams. Oh, I've missed you so much. Uh, yeah, I'll call you another 20 years. Uh, oh, no. Uh. <laughs> All right, got two floor tiles for you. But um, I forgot to mention the little crotch area. A lot of uh, a couple of people have uh, had theirs broken or something or stressed out uh, right out of the uh, box. But mine looks really good. It's got that swirly plastic, but I don't see any breakage or crackage or anything. So very nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. This is a really good masterpiece figure. So is it kind of weird that, you know, we're moving on? Like masterpiece is... I don't think they're worried about G1 stuff anymore. I mean, we do got, you know, Hound and Prime coming out, but, you know, we're not seeing a lot from uh, MP, you know, Takara and uh, Hasbro or anything. And they're moving on to Beast Wars and stuff because we got Black Arachnia coming out too. So what do y'all think about that? Are y'all excited? I don't know if Beast Wars fans are, you know, excited and everything, but I'm sure the G1, you know, but we do got third party. You know, they'll eventually finish everything. I think we're almost finished anyways. Everybody sees the light at the end of the tunnel. Anyways. All right, well, I hope you like my review. Uh, like I said, this is a pretty good, pretty, pretty, very good uh, masterpiece. Man, that's got a nice sheen to it. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, go down and hit me with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down and hit me with some comments. Tell me what you think of the review and everything. Are you in on this one? You know, the 300 and something dollar. I got it for 230 uh, if you went through Amazon Japan. Uh, the 320 is a lot of money. I don't know, but I, I think it's worth it. I, I really do. That's between, you know, that's up to you, you know, and that's uh, only you can decide that. But, uh, yeah, uh, go down and hit that uh, subscribe button and all that good stuff. Uh, follow me on Twitter and uh, Instagram and my Facebook page. And I guess I'll see you on the next review. And as always, hail Hasbro and good night, folks. Yes. I don't know why I keep trying to say that. My time to shine. Meh.